what's up you guys welcome to another video of Byron tries so for today's video I actually went to GK Mongolian barbecue out here in the city of Manteca um, and to be honest it's my first time trying a, a barbecue place like that um, where you got they got the raw meats uh, you pick you obviously you pick your protein all the meats that they have they have pork beef chicken they had one more but I hell forgot because I'm, I'm starving, to be honest with y'all. Um, and then once you do that, you, you have the bowl. So you can either sit down and eat there or you can take it to go. And for instance, like me, I take it, I took it to go. Um, and if, if for some reason it seems like a smaller portion when you take it to go compared to when you stay there and eat because the bowl is like way bigger than this bowl right here. So I'm pretty sure you, you get more out of it staying there to eat, you know, and they do have the option right now. They are open to, to st sit there and eat. Um, so the whole experience was something different. You get the meats, then you load up the veggies, and then they do tell you to, to they suggest for you to load up the noodles at the end just so you can pack that bowl with the shitload of noodles. Um, once you're done loading up your bowl of what you want because it's self-serve yourself, uh, they actually, you give it to the chef. The chef cooks it on the big little grill they have in the back. Um, he mixes all the veggies, the meat, and they have different sauces as well. Uh, their biggest ones that um, a lot of people pick is the barbecue sauce and their teriyaki sauce. They have a shitload of, sa of sauces. I just went basic with the teriyaki. Um, like I said, this is my first time trying a Mongolian barbecue place. Kind of seems like a Korean barbecue as well, um, even though I haven't been to none of that. Yes, uh, uh, surprisingly. Um, so I'm going to give this a shot. And this meal, actually, it comes with the bowl. Um, they gave me two pot stickers and a drink for the price of $13.52. You can't beat that. If you're, you know, just getting off of work, you want a nice meal to, to fill you up. I would suggest probably getting one of these, but let's see how it tastes. That's the most important thing is the taste and the presentation. Obviously, the presentation may be a little bit off just because you take you bring this home. So, but over there at the restaurant, it's a whole different scenery. So let's open up the bag. This is the bag they give you right here. Um, so what do we got in here? We got pot stickers two of them in here and these kind of look like they've been sitting there for a while maybe because I don't know if pot stickers are supposed to be this hard y'all could hear that okay so that's that and what do we got in here I got the chopsticks the fork I know I asked for some chili chili oil and chili paste so they gave me some sriracha sauce some soy sauce and oh here we go here we go so what we got is chili oil y'all see that right there and some chili paste and i'm gonna try these hopefully the, the i know the chili oil might not be that spicy but the chili paste might be spicy and let's see the bowl. Pow! <laughs> that looks like some chow mein or something's in there, huh? So we're gonna open this up and, and I'm gonna pour it in my bowl just to see it. So my, my wife just told me that these Chinese boxes that they give you here, you can actually make these into a bowl, but this doesn't look like a bowl to me. Kinda looks like one of those things that they used to do back in middle school that they go like this. And, they say your name and toda la chingada and all that pinche madre. So this is very saucy. As you can see, that's the teriyaki sauce at the bottom. I'm going to pour it in here and mix it up maybe. Let me see. Make sure I get all these juices. Oh. Ah! Okay. There's madre. You see what I mean? I don't think this would have happened if I would have sat my ass there and ate. I'm going to try this. Okay. 
So I'm going to give it a shot before I mix it with any of the, of the chili oil or the chili paste. But so far, this smells so fucking good, you guys. I'm excited. This is uh, the, for the meats I went with, the beef and chicken. As you can see the two-tone different color right there. Let me show you a close-up of this bowl right here. You see that? Y'all tell me if that don't look good. You see the steam? Oh, that motherfucker hot. Hell yeah. That's delish. That, look, that looks delish. So let's go ahead and try the beef first with some noodles. Mm -hmm. Here we go. Oh my god. Oh my god. Mmm. That shit is so fucking good. Okay. Now, I don't know what... I, I'm pretty sure this was water chestnut. I just added it because um, for the veggies, they don't have any labels. They just have different veggies chopped up. I was scared that it would have been seafood or something, but I'm pretty sure if it's seafood, they would put a label on there, right? Okay. Uh, water chestnut. I was right. Now, let's try the chicken. This is the chicken. Let's mix this up. And try this. There we go. Oh, God. All right, let me use this fork. Let me put a little bit of the chili oil first. All right, so just in case this is too spicy, you know, you never know. Um, I separated just a little bit. I'm going to put some chili oil right here and chili paste on this one. So let's go with the chili oil on this one right here. And let me use my fork, mix this shit up. And give it a shot. Okay. Chili oil, definitely a good mix with this. Mm. Now let's uh, let's try the chili paste. Damn, I should have got another bowl, another two bowls. <laughs> Fuck. I didn't know it was gonna be this good. Okay, so let's try some of this chili paste on this side. Let's see. Mix it up. Let's try this. Let's see if it's the same thing as the chili oil. God, it doesn't want to steal my fucking pork. <clears throat> Tastes like vinegar. Chili paste have vinegar in it? That's why. My fight here. Just a whole lot of vinegar. I'll say that. So definitely chili oil on the bowl. Way better than the chili paste. I mean, the chili paste is not bad. It's just you can straight taste the vinegar. Mmm. This is so delicious, you guys. Okay. In all honesty, for 13 bucks. Oh, let me try the pot stickers. See, I don't even think they had pot sticker sauce there, but I'll dump it in some chili oil. Let's see these. Uh, these you could, like I said before, these been sitting there. I think they're not fresh. I know this was fresh, and they cook it. Like I said, you're watching them when they're cooking it. But this, these, I don't know if y'all could hear that. That shit, you see, it? it's pretty hard. So let's see. Well, let's dunk it in here. Let's see if, if let's see if it's if it's. All that bad. I mean, it's pretty hard, but. Oh, yeah. Yep. Mm hmm. Yeah, um, that was. I think this shit was since yesterday or something. I don't know. This is Gebramuela's Crunchy. At least the edging is hella crunchy as fuck. And then this is not doesn't taste that fresh. 
I don't know if you can see that fucking lighting. See that? So the pot sticker, not too much. I mean, that's 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 probably not their specialty as well. Um, and it comes with the bowl with the meal, but the bowl, a one, a fucking one. Strongly recommend GK Mongolian Barbecue. I know they got another one in Modesto. They actually got a couple of those locations, but the ones I'm familiar with is Manteca, California and Modesto, California. But GK Mongolian, I will for sure come back for more bowls. Um, and I'll actually sit there and, and, and enjoy the experience there at the restaurant. Bomb.com. Oh, and as well for y'all they got pets. Um, they do give you, they have little doggy bags as well. So you can get meat, protein, and, and that's what they call it, doggy bags, and you can take it for your dogs. Um, they'll cook the meat, and then you give it to your dogs. So it's before they season it or sauce it or whatever. It's just raw like that. They'll cook it, and then boom, that's your doggy bag. So just for those that have uh, dogs at home, FYI. And also, before I forget, uh, I checked the reviews online um, for GK Mongolian Barbecue, the, the one right here in Manteca. This one has a four and a half star rating. So that's pretty damn fucking good, almost five. Um, so I'm not disappointed with this. This is fucking Bob. My girl is eating some already too. Uh, so yeah, GK Mongolian Barbecue. Go get yourself a bowl. Try it out if y'all haven't tried it out, man. You won't be disappointed. The fucking sauces is A1. The meat, the veggies, the everything. God damn, man. All right, man, that's it. Don't forget to like this video. If you're not subscribed, subscribe to my channel. I appreciate everyone who keeps supporting. Um, and go check out my Instagram page, at Byron Tries. Follow me, I'll follow you back. All right, y'all. Peace.